Saturday Soul Social, and sitting with me are two of the most talented and lovely young ladies in the country from the band Water Seed, Shalia and Sinise. Thank you. Yes, and they just finished tearing the stage down, you know, playing songs from their many records and their newest Wonder Love to make sure that if you are out there watching this, that you go pick this album up. Thank you guys for being here at Richmond, Virginia. Thank, Thank you for having me. Yeah. 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 Great, great crowd. Yeah, great. Yeah. And beautiful venue. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For, for those that don't know and, and aren't familiar, tell us a little background about Water Sea, how you guys came together, and what your sound would really be described as. Wow. Um, I'll start out with just the origins of Water Sea. Water Sea was actually started on the campus of Xavier University in New Orleans. Started out as a writing team and morphed into a band. And um, actually, the band relocated after Hurricane Katrina, um, forced to relocate to Atlanta. And in Atlanta is where we met up with the founding members, Sinise and I. Um, met them in Atlanta. And now we all live in New Orleans. And so we're just, you know, touring and doing our thing. We, we perform in New Orleans, but we also perform all over. Yeah. And um, as far as the type of music, yeah, I mean, it's um, to kind of feedback off of her, it's definitely been a full circle with Water City, you know, and definitely very enjoyable. Um, as far as the sound of our music, uh, it would be kind of like actually like a fusion of funk, soul, and jazz. So uh, that's that's where we are with that one. Yeah, we call it our gumbo. Yeah. Gumbo, yeah. gumbo, gumbo. Speaking of gumbo, um, I think that's very appropriate. <laughs> okay, now we're yeah, all right, 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 right. Um, you know, speaking of gumbo, I mean, you guys pulled a lot of different styles into your live set. I mean, you had soul, but you had funk. Y'all had some, some like jazz fusion happening. Dumb bird joint yeah. popping off. I'm like, oh, I mean, just really on a, on a whole. Don't tell level. them all the secrets. They can't. They have to come. Y'all gotta, to the gotta show. go to the show. You gotta go to the show and really just experience it for yourself. Right. For yourself. Right. Yeah. You know, but is that something that I guess keeps you guys inspired as far as recording and touring? That there's so much music out there, y'all can cover it. You can spin it into your own vibe. You can use it to create more. I mean, let me let me let me condense the question. Okay. Who are some of your key influences? Okay. I was just going to say to what you were saying before, um, it definitely keeps it interesting, you know, and it keeps it fun to be able to pull elements from these different influences. But some of our influences would definitely be um, Stevie Wonder, Sly and the Family Stone, Sam Brown. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Absolutely. So, you know, yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah, we could, we could name people all day, but those are definitely, yeah. you know, some of the top, some of our top influences. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and my final question for you guys, and Bobby Hunter, right? Yes, yeah, and met her. I actually wow. met her. That was oh, amazing. Wow. That was kind of like how I got back into doing music because of her. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Bobby Humphrey. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty incredible. These you know, guys have really been great. Um, just, you know, as a final question, tell the people out there why it's so important to support independent music, particularly when you're touring and you're on the road and you're know, doing your thing. What difference does it make when people come to the show and they actually buy the music and they take it home? Wow. Well, I can just tell you from the experience here tonight. Um, one beautiful lady came up to us after the show and said that she came to another show that we were at, purchased the music, and she told us how much she loved it, and she wanted to talk about further opportunities and buy more music. So I think that's like a full circle experience. She heard us before, purchased the music, loved it, and um, I mean it makes a difference, not only financially, you know, because it helps being independent. That means we are funding the whole thing ourselves. So obviously every every monetary um, situation helps, That's right. but also it's keep nice for people flowing. to not right keep the blessings flowing. Right. But it's also nice for people to know the music, so that way um, 
Say they come out to the second show, they bought the music at the other one or online, they come out to the show, they know it, so they can join in with us, so it's more of an interactive experience. That helps a lot because it's like an energy exchange when we do the show. So um, we just appreciate all the support. It's, again, because it is coming from us. There's no, you know, rich uncle or <laughs> no label throwing millions at us. So right. every, everything counts and helps. And it's definitely like a, um, as an independent artist, you know, everything is in-house for us. So we're not, there's no major label, you know. And then when it comes to the radio, it's not like, you know, we're all, and that was what we was talking about earlier. Um, but, you know, as far as the radio, you hear the same song 20 times. And as independent artists, you want to go and do those live shows because you want people to talk and you want them to spread the word. Social media, it doesn't matter. Right. You know, to get that word out for us, you know, and it helps. And yeah. people appreciate it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it does. It helps to increase the, the fan base. Which is what we want. <laughs> we sold out of the Wonder Loves and the Wonder Loves too. Yes. But you guys have a new yeah. album coming out too, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It's called Retro yeah. Electro. All right. We are super excited about it. Yes, yes. When is that going to be uh, available to the public? Coming soon. Coming yeah. soon? Coming okay. soon, yeah. That way, let's leave it TBD? Yeah. Right. TBD? Okay. Very soon. All right. Hashtag, Hashtag TBD. <laughs> Hashtag TBD. Okay, so you guys, you know, keep your eyes and ears out for Water Sea. Whenever they come into your city, make sure that you check them out. How do people find you on that? Watersemusic.com. And, of course, we're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. Just, I mean, you can Google us. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. But, yeah, watersemusic.com. That's our hub for everything online. Make sure y'all checking out Water Seed Music and make sure you're checking out SaturdaySoulSocial.com. And if you're in Richmond, make sure you are right here at the Speakeasy in the historic Hippodrome, 526 North 2nd Street. This is your host, Gerard Anthony, signing off. Have a good night. Thank you. 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 Thank you.